，请教专家。Bilingualism is the ability to speak two or more languages. Biliteracy is the ability to read and write in both languages, to do academic work in both languages, and it gives access to a whole world of books, literature, and intellectual thought that you need literacy for. So biliteracy is the ability to have that in two languages. I didn't master the English language until I was in fifth grade. So it was really hard to come from a Spanish country to an English country where the only spoken language was English and where you were technically lost. English is my second language. Chinese is my first language. I came to America when I was 10. It was very, very challenging because I didn't even know how to read. By the end of fifth grade, my English was pretty good. There is no question that this is now a global era. And for young people, one of the things that has become a real survival skill is the ability to communicate across national borders, across language barriers. They need to have those skills. That's what it means to be growing up in the 21st century, really, to be able to, to enter into that more global world. Our schools are not right now preparing kids for that. But a few school districts, visionary school districts, have made it a goal. And here in California, there's been our movement to create this seal of biliteracy, something that would be a statement on the part of school systems, school districts, and communities that, yes, this is an important skill, this is a valued skill, we recognize it, and we celebrate it. I wanted to learn another language because I think that we shouldn't just expect everyone to speak our language. Like, I think it's really cool to be able to say, yes, I'm willing to learn your language so I can talk to you in your language rather than expecting you to just be able to communicate with me. Empezó hace dos años en el banco de una plaza. Ahí, señor. The seal of biliteracy is a seal on your diploma that says that you speak two languages fluently and proficiently. And that's a seal that we believe is going to be recognizable uh, when students move on to either college or to a career that they actually have this seal saying that they are proficient in another language. We wanted to think about that as an opportunity and a strength. And I hope that it becomes a badge of honor for students. I really like speaking in Spanish because it's a, it's a new experience. You're thinking in a different way. Brain research shows that biliteracy is actually associated with greater brain flexibility. Young people who grow up learning both English and another language actually have better English as a result. Their proficiency in English is greater. Their academic achievement is usually better. And this is why we think that schools should be focusing on mastery of two or more languages. The ultimate goal of the bilingual program here is that the students will exit with academic English and academic Spanish. So that means reading, writing in both languages at a high level. You are going to choose one sentence without looking. Choose one and choose one. I do want to speak in English and Spanish because I want my family to see that I'm smart enough so they can think I'm really good and I'm going to keep on going ahead. Nutrias came from South America. OK, that is a fact. The seal of biliteracy, in a way, it's a very simple thing. It's a recognition. It's a celebration. OK, thank you, Fred. The seal of biliteracy at the end of high school is what we're reaching towards. But we also created a set of Pathway Awards, too. Giselle Campos Contreras. Pathway Awards take place all along the educational journey, recognizing at an age-appropriate and grade-appropriate level whether or not you're actually on the path towards this kind of powerful multiple literacies. Jesus Cordova Palestino. Congratulations.
I feel proud of myself because I never won a trophy in my life. And when I hold it, I really felt nice. And my mom took pictures of me. You tell me that I did great. It's very important to have a celebration of biliteracy so that the students can feel proud of their incredible achievement, feel motivated to continue in their studies so that the parents can see that this is important. Me siento muy feliz. Oh, siento una alegría enorme porque ese mi primer hijo que o sea, de mis hijos ese es el primero que que me da esta satisfacción. One of the things that our biliteracy seal ensures is that the students at the elementary level and the middle level have something to look forward to and to work towards. And so they're able to know that once they get to high school, the importance of the seal on their diploma, they realize that being bilingual biliterate is connected to going to college. Once it's in my diploma, the seal will show everybody that I speak two languages and it will definitely give me some advantage over others who don't speak two languages. It's not only a reward, oh it's a little sticker on your diploma, no. It will only open more doors to you in the future. ¿Cómo te va? Bien. Having this seal, my internship is to create a social network, a community on Facebook for people who support our idea of having bilingual pride, but also those who receive the seal and those who are in progress of getting the seal. And the whole idea of it is for all of us to stick together and be proud that we know two languages and to help others continue on. I think it's very important to speak Chinese and to retain the Chinese culture because there are lots of values in China that aren't necessarily here. Our companies are doing business all over the world with people from all different countries, languages, cultures. So we need not only young people that are linguistically bilingual, but culturally bilingual. The seal of biliteracy is something that students have to apply for. There has to be that step of a young person stepping forward and saying, I want this. The seal of biliteracy is important to me. As an applicant, then they have to do a formal assessment. You are here to go through this process of the interviews and the assessment today to demonstrate that you can speak, read, and write and display proficiency in a second language. I am so inspired by your skills. You've shown great courage in just applying to go through this process. You're going to have two interviews, one in English, and one in your target world language. They have questions that are gonna be asking you for 20 minutes. This is your time to shine. Best of luck. For students to qualify for the biliteracy seal, students have to be able to prove themselves in the core subjects. And then on their diploma for graduation, they receive a seal showing that they have competency in two languages. Y es un programa muy riguroso. Pero también porque yo quiero usar mi español. My Spanish teacher encouraged me to apply for the seal. And I think it'd be really awesome to be able to say, yes, I am certifiably proficient in Spanish and English as well. The criteria for the seal of biliteracy was established by looking at international standards of what high-level proficiency and literacy are in languages. It sets what kind of writing skill you need to have, what you need to be able to do in writing in two languages. It sets an oral goal for what you're able to do verbally, speaking in and across two languages. <laughs> I wanted to apply because I am bilingual. I speak Chinese and English, and I want people to know that. The SEAL just opens amazing doors for them, both economically in terms of job opportunities, but it also enriches their entire life. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to begin by congratulating the class of 2011. Let's hear it.
I went from only speaking one language to speaking two languages, which was something that I feel really proud of. We acknowledge and congratulate the following students who met criteria for the Biliteracy Award. Laura Benitez. When the students do come up and they receive their certificates, and they receive the medal and we place the medal around their neck. It's something that they look at and they know I've earned this. And Richard Robles. I think that being bilingual really helped me get into UC San Diego. And just seeing that seal on my diploma, again, it gives me that sense of achievement that I finally got to where I wanted to get. Yao Li. To be able to speak a different language makes you feel smarter. Elizabeth Baira. I feel nervous when I'm speaking with people who are native speakers because I know that I'm not perfect. But when I speak Spanish, I feel accomplished. The movement for the Seal of Biliteracy really grew out of two different impulses that converged. One of them was the recognition that young people were losing home languages. The other impulse is this recognition that this is the 21st century and this is a global world, interconnected world, and that the possession of those skills of multiliteracy gives huge access to the individual that has those skills. So the seal of biliteracy, the simple little thing, is driving a movement for a curricular change, and it's changing attitudes that people have about themselves and about each other. And what a wonderful outcome from such a simple little thing.